Paquito has an incredibly effective bajada. So does Bella. And they are both completely different techniques when it comes to playing that attacking shot after the glass. In this video, we're going to weigh up the pros and cons of those techniques. So if you don't watch the pro level paddle, or maybe you do, but you're not sure which shot I'm talking about, this is when the ball has been lobbed, it bounces behind this line, it's bouncing high off the glass, and the players are attacking it. They call it a bajada in Spanish. And the idea is that you can get yourself into a position to attack a ball, even though you've been lobbed and you're at the back of the court. So the two techniques that you can use, one is the cachilla, and Paquito uses this shot a lot, where the ball bounces off the glass and you're in like a vibra style technique with the racket behind, great rotation here, and you really throw the racket through, extending the elbow into the shot, coming round the ball, exactly like you would do for a vibra. The second technique, which Bella and a lot of other players that we're using these two as examples, but Bella uses this where the ball bounces and he gets his racket up in this position and he comes through using the chest as the prime mover, like a bandeja technique, but a lot faster. Those are the two techniques that we're looking at for this shot. So the pros for both of these techniques, the first, the Vibra one, you can generate really fast speed for this, yeah, faster than you can with the other style. And also, once you've hit this shot and you hit it well, it will die in that corner because it will have a little bit of side spin, a little bit of slice. It will be like the Vibra. It will be difficult to defend at the other end. When it comes to the bandeja technique, you can not hit it quite as fast, but the pros for this are, it's likely that you are more consistent with this shot, and also likely that you can be more accurate when you're aiming for a location. So the speed is slower, but you can be more accurate and probably more consistent when it comes to that bandeja style. So when it comes to the cons or the disadvantages, the Vibra style is when that ball bounces up, it's difficult for you to be accurate and consistent with this shot. Because you're hitting it so fast and you're in a position here, you're hitting a Vibra, you need to clear the net by a small margin. And if you do that, then it can be amazing, but also there's a high chance that you might make a mistake to hit it in the net. Also, at that speed, it is difficult for you to be accurate. And it also rules out that shot that you can hit slower and down towards the fence. The cons for the bandeja style is that you can't generate as much speed and it means therefore that your opponents find it a little bit easier to block but therefore you can also use that shot down to the fence and, and like we talked about with the pros, you can be a little bit more accurate with that bandeja. Me personally, I prefer to use the bandeja technique when it comes to bouncing off that back glass. I just find for me, I'm more consistent, I'm more accurate with that shot. But let us know down in the comments if you've tried both of those techniques and which you find uh, more comfortable. And up on this side, I'm gonna put a video, the difference between the bandeja and the vibra when it actually comes to the technique so that can help you also with this shot off the glass.